Waltney Group, Remax Results. Welcome to Rochester Real Estate, featuring Robin Gwaltney from Gwaltney Group, Remax Results, and Andy Brownell. Here's Andy Brownell on Rochester's News Talk, 1340 KROC AM and 96.9 FM. Good morning. Andy Brownell on News Talk, 1340 KROC AM and 96.9 FM, along with Robin Gwaltney with Gwaltney Group, Remax Results. Good morning, Robin. Good morning. How are you this morning? I am well. I'm looking forward to warmer weather after the gloomy week we just endured. I know, but you know what? It is middle of September, <laughs> so I think there's going to be a little more gloomy than there is warmer. Oh, yeah, I know. I, I kind of like autumn, and I say kind of like autumn because I enjoy some of the features of autumn, but I do not enjoy what it leads to. You know, I, after watching all the news and all the forest fires and all the, you know, 104 degrees here and 120 degrees there and hurricanes, I think Minnesota looks better all the time. <laughs> I'm with you on that. Yeah, I really do. And I feel like um, it's going to be a good place to be a realtor because I think other people are going to, you know, catch on to our secret and they're going to want to move here too. Yeah, I think um, that's a great possibility, particularly the uh, southeastern corner of the state where um, we tend to live a little quieter lifestyle and we have right. some unbelievable um, landscape features that a lot of people are just completely unaware of. It is really amazing. Even the difference between Rochester and then just go out a little ways, you know, go to St. Charles or go to Lanesboro or come, you know, over, go over to the river by Wabasha or, I mean, it just changes and people are are pretty much blown away. Like I'll have customers coming in that are going to move to Rochester for mail and then I'll take them for a drive and they'll be like, wow, who would know? Right. Well, we're right on the edge. Rochester is right on the edge of the change where it occurs. So if you go yeah. two miles east of the city, you're in hilly country already. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. No, it's it's gorgeous. And, you know, I, I think I've talked about this in the, in the recent weeks, but we're just seeing that people are saying now, oh, you know what? I don't mind if I live 30 minutes from work or 45 minutes from work or even an hour from work, especially because I'm not required to come in and physically work at the office anymore. I can work from wherever I want to. So I feel like it is going to um, really induce people moving out of the city of Rochester proper just because houses are more affordable. Yeah, you know, well, the limiting factor might be the availability of high-speed internet, but a lot of the, <laughs> the, a lot of the smaller communities are getting connected now, too. Yeah, perfectly yeah. Perfectly good. I know the more rural areas here outside of the small towns, it might be more difficult, but right. if you're in the vicinity, let's put it that way. It's funny, you bring. I, we're talking about you know, remote working and even remote learning. I have a friend whose laptop computer went kablooey on him. Oh, no. So he said, help me find a good one, you know, in this price range, because I need this, this, and this. Uh, They're sold out. You yeah, I was going to say, I was just going to say, just good luck helping him find one, period. I was amazed. They're gone. You can't yeah. find one right now. It is crazy. Yeah. People are adjusting. There's no doubt about that. Yeah. Well, we're here to talk about real estate, not Laptop computers, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's all connected, really. It really is. You know, in these times, I feel like it's it's amazing how one thing affects the next thing affects the next thing. You know, like I told you, last week I had three people say, I'm selling my house. And I'm like, great, that's definitely real estate. And then it's, why are you selling? Well, I'm selling to move to my cabin. Oh, who would have thought? Now those areas where the cabins are, that's going to be great business for the grocers and for, you know, all the business because now those people are not just there on the weekends. Now they're there all the time. So, I mean, it is really interconnected, the whole thing. Yeah, and, it, and just a few months ago, we were talking about how that usual cycle of housing had been frozen. Uh, that yeah. Because those who might be in my age group tend to, we're not moving on to a different living situation necessarily and this right. this whole pandemic thing has changed that and kind of gotten that wheel unstuck i think yes absolutely yep it's like give me a spot that has two offices please and <laughs> you know get, you know give me some space um i've I, I actually have a friend who just recently moved out to california and 
it was so her husband could take a new job. And I said, so is he actually at the office now or is he still working from home? Because, you know, heck, they could have just stayed here for longer if it was just going to be that way, right? Right. And, and she said, um, no, he's still at home, but either he's going to have to go to the office real soon <laughs> or I'm going to have to get a job. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, <laughs> that is going to be a factor as well. Yep. Well, you know what we say, divorces are good for our business. So, you know, <laughs> I'm just being facetious. I'm kidding. All right. I'd, I'd much rather help those that are getting married. I bet that is a lot of fun. That's really fun. Yeah, it's always fun to help people buy their first house. I don't know what it is, what makes it so special, but it really is. You know, they're so excited. And I think because they don't know all the responsibilities that come with home ownership yet. You know, those of us who are buying our second or our third or our fourth, we remember what it's like to have to put the new roof on or get the siding changed or change out the windows. Oh, yeah. It's never ending. Yeah, but it's all, it's so worth it. You know, I mean, I mean, I don't know what other investment or bank account you have that you can actually uh, live in, right? I mean, when you talk about those improvements, when you do them, it's just, there's so much satisfaction to it. And it increases the value of your property, which is so important. You know, I feel like if people focused more on realizing their home really is their biggest portion of their nest egg in so many cases. So it's so important that people really take care of it and continue to invest in it and maintain it so that it can, you know, hold its value and increase in value at, you know, the fastest rate possible. And, you know, the the weather we experienced last week should have hammered home the reminder of the things we need to do this time of the year to our houses because exactly. winter, winter's around the corner, I hate to say it. Yeah, get the leaves out of the gutters, first of all. You know, it definitely, you want to get those leaves out of the gutters before winter hits. Just because, I mean, obviously they haven't fallen off the trees yet, but so, when they, yeah, but it's coming. They're all turning colors, and I mean, as beautiful as that might be when they all fall, that part's not so pretty. And people don't think about it. They don't think about, okay, now my gutters are full of leaves. Well, then when we get that heavy rain, unfortunately, the, gu- the gutters can't do their job, right? Or it gets frozen and you end up with ice dams moving up right. under your roof in the middle of the winter. Yeah, don't talk about ice yet. Okay. All right. <laughs> but caulking the windows, touching up yeah. the paint. Yep. Getting all the exactly. hoses put away. Maybe not quite yet, but it's time to start thinking about all those things. It definitely is. And, and, you know, I will be sending out reminders and I'll, I'll put them out on this show as well, because those are things that people can easily forget to do. You know, just disconnect that garden hose from the outside faucet on the outside of the house. And, you know, if you've ever had that happen, you know, that is not a good thing. Been there, done that. Yeah, once, unfortunately. Once. Once is enough. <laughs> yeah, if you do it once, you'll not, you're not going to make that mistake again. That's for darn sure. Well, you have a new um, team member that we're going to talk Hi. to. And you have some listings, uh, new listings, which are always wonderful to talk about, uh, new homes available in the marketplace. And uh, we'll cover that ground when we get back and uh, continue chatting with Robin Gwaltney, Gwaltney Group Remax Results, right here on News Talk 1340, Carol CAM at 96.9 FM. We'll be right back with Robin Gwaltney and Andy Brownell on Rochester Real Estate. This is News Talk 1340, KROC AM and 96.9 FM. Does learning a language feel like this? No habla espanol. From Gwaltney Group, Remax Results, and Andy Brownell on Rochester's News Talk, 1340 KROC AM and 96.9 FM. Welcome back. Andy Brownell along with Robin Gwaltney, Gwaltney Group, Remax Results here on News Talk, 1340 KROC AM and 96.9 FM. Our normal Saturday morning chat about real estate in the Rochester area in southeastern Minnesota. And speaking of southeastern Minnesota, you are in Wabasha as we speak. Correct. <laughs> I am in Wabasha, and I'm so excited because you know that we uh, recently opened a new office in Wabasha on the 1st of August, and we have a few of our team members that are local to Wabasha that will be physically working out of the Wabasha office, and one of those team members is here with me today, and her name is Jackie Grippo, and I have known Jackie since we were... 
in grade school. Oh, goodness. So, yeah, so a long time. So um, I'm so happy that she has joined our team and that she's going to be part of this Wabasha office. And I'm so excited to see how she will uh, succeed in this business because it's right up her alley. All right. We're going to talk with Jackie right now, correct? Correct. All right. Welcome to the program, Jackie. Well, thank you for having me this morning. I thank Robin for letting me come here and talk about how great Wabasha and the Pepin area is. And um, well, I guess to get started with it, uh, we heard, obviously, you've been a longtime friend of Robin. Um, what uh, I, What's your story? How did you end up being part of the Gwaltney group? Okay, well, um, I'm a kind of a late-in-lifer um, realtor, but I came to a point in my life here, about 57, and um, all of a sudden I was faced with making a career change because the company I'd worked for had bought um, my company and the sales force went away. So at 57, it's not so easy to find a job that has um, what you need um, when you're a new employee. So I um, got to thinking, what would I like to do with my life? And I always thought that I would be a really good realtor. So I called Robin. Um, like she said, we had been friends for since we were little girls. Her and my sister were best buds when they were in grade school. And um, she, after a few times of talking with her, she invited me to join the group. So I went ahead and got my real estate license in Minnesota and then um, got my real estate license in Wisconsin because down here on the river, it just makes sense to oh, yeah. have both. Yes. Absolutely. I can see that for sure. So is there, uh, you know, obviously a late life career change or late in uh, the, your working years career change? I'm in the same age as you are. Um, what, what, what about real estate was attractive to you? Well, I love helping people, and that was always part of my sales career. I worked in key accounts, and that's really about taking care of your your client or your customer, um, treating them like a friend, and being there anytime they need help. And follow, yeah, I, I get that vibe, you know, from everybody in the Gwaltney group that that's kind of the mission there is to almost serve as a guide as you go through this real estate process. That is true, and I am just so fortunate to work with such a great group of people. They'll be there to help you with anything you need help with, um, and I'm just really looking forward to growing as a realtor through the next years. I've been in Minnesota, now this is going on my second year, um, Wisconsin my first year yet, but I love the I love the area so much that I find it really easy to sell a house because I know what the river is like. I know what each little town has its own flavor up and down the river on both sides. So you are from Wabasha. Do you still live in Wabasha? I was raised in Wabasha, but I live in Pepin now and have for about 37 years. Wow, right on the lake. Yes, right on the lake. We don't live on the lake, but I can be to my boat, which is down in the harbor in Pepin, within five minutes. So <laughs> it, it's just like being on vacation all the time. Yeah, it is a beautiful area down there. And uh, I'm always amazed when I talk to people who live in Rochester or are new to Rochester. And I said, well, have you been to the river yet? And they go, what do you mean the river? I go, it's 40 minutes that way. Get over there. Yes, I, I, I'm finding a lot of people that are looking for homes down here, um, it's mostly vacation homes, weekend homes, if you will. But now that um, COVID has hit, more people are really realizing that they can work from anywhere. And why not work from five minutes from the river or the lake instead of 45 minutes? Oh, my goodness. Yeah, if you can, if you can pull it off. Absolutely. Um, being there, I suppose you know almost every um, nook and cranny there is where all the really neat properties are and the views and everything else. Oh, I do. You know, whether you want to be right on the beach on Lake Pepin or if you'd want to be on the hills and the bluffs overlooking the beautiful um, Mississippi River, there are so many wonderful places that you can live. I actually just live with the, and I love the view of the hills of Minnesota from my um, deck. So it's great. 
Is there, are there still any deals to be had over in that area? Or <laughs> yeah, the- you know, there are, there are. They're not as many right now because listings are fewer or farther between, but I have a beautiful property up on the golf course in Minnesota listed. Um, it's 239.9. It's 200 Skyline Drive is the address if you want to take a look at it on um, Zillow or where, however you search. Um, but that's a great property up there. Um, big open floor floor plan. I know Robin has the listings down here with a beautiful home on Lawrence Avenue. Oh, yeah. Um, and it's just gorgeous. And the people that own it are so welcoming and wonderful. It just can't help but have good vibes when you walk in there. Another part about the living along the river and visiting the river is it seems like yeah, it doesn't even matter. It could be in the middle of winter even, but it seems like there's something going on every single weekend or it, maybe not every weekend, but almost every weekend in one of the small towns that lie on either side of the river. Um, yes, it is. There's so many great places. Um, right here in Wabasha, now we have the September Fest going on. And just outside our building, there are so many wonderful. There's a little maze for kids across the street. And in the park here, it's just decorated all up beautiful. Um, so, yeah, come down. And it, um, it's great on the weekends. Um, Come on down today. Okay. Well, Jackie Grippo, if somebody wants to uh, give you a ring, if they have a home to sell or are looking for a home somewhere in that Mississippi River Valley area in Minnesota or Wisconsin, how do they get a hold of you? Okay. Well, you can call me on my cell phone, of course. It's 715-495-3734. Or you can email me at Jackie at GwaltneyGroup.com. Fantastic. Well, so nice to chat with you. It was very nice chatting with you. Have a great day. You as well. Good luck with everything, Jackie. Okay, thank you so much. You're welcome. We'll be back with more Robin Gwaltney, Gwaltney Group Remax results in just a moment on News Talk 1340, KROCA and 96.9 FM. We'll be right back with Robin Gwaltney and Andy Brownell on Rochester Real Estate. This is News Talk 1340, KROCA and 96.9 FM. Looking for a natural deodorant that actually works?